my loves, how are you? Hope all is well with you guys. If you're new to my channel, welcome. And if you are returning, welcome back. Guys, today I'm going to do your uh, monthly reading. And this will be for my Leos. And this will be for January of 2021. Do you guys believe that it's 2021 already? I don't. Uh, it's just, this year has just flown by, even with everything that's been going on. Um, it has just gone by so quickly for me. So... Let's give these some shuffles and we'll get on with your reading, my loves, and see what's happening with you. Two more. Angels, guides, and spirits, what is it that Leo needs to know for January of 2021, please? That one wants to be heard. All right, let's see what's going on with you guys. First cards that I'm going to read are the cards that are your destiny cards. They are the cards that uh, are influencing your destiny. Destiny. I have the fox. And that augurs... Um, <clears throat> distrust in a person, okay? There is an acquaintance that you are going to meet or have met that is just um, somebody that you should not trust, okay? It's the Ace of Hearts. Um, they are a bad person. Um, they're going to betray you in some way. So keep your eye out for that. Keep your eye out on for that person. Um, they're a very distrusting um, person. I have the six of spades, the mouse, and that denotes a theft. Um, there could be a theft of something um, that is near um, you, and it's going to be difficult for you to recover this, um, but you are going to have the difficulty getting this back, but you will get it back. Okay, um, so there is some kind of a theft of some sort. Um, look into your bank accounts. I find that um, when I usually pull this card, it means uh, something to do with with the bank. Um, they may have made an error in your account um, that it's going to take a little bit to get back. Um, you could have somebody that uh, maybe uh, bounces a check on you and it's going to take you a while to recover that money. Um, something along that lines um, is what I feel as if this card is and what it usually comes up for me is. The eight of clubs. Um, and that's the snake. And that indicates things are going to start to calm down in your life. Um, you know, that hustle and bustle and everything that's been going on and been crazy and everything, you're going to start to feel more calm in January, the January, um, you know, the hustle and bustle of the holiday season is over and that calmness is going to start to, uh, come to you. I have the five of diamonds and that's the anchor and that's success. Um, success in all your ventures, your business ventures and in love. Um, but you need to stay put. Okay. They don't want you, uh, doing it away. They want you to stay where you're at. Okay, so stay put, um, you know, and things will come to you. I have the um, hand in hand, two hands holding each other. It's the king of hearts. 
and that indicates, uh, you know, uh, finding that person, that that person, that friendship, that's going to warm into a lover relationship. Um, you know, you may be involved, maybe you're married, maybe uh, you're single. Um, if you're single, it's somebody that is a friend that um, is it's going to turn into more of um, a love relationship than it is a friendship. And then um, if you are married, it's your best friend. Um, you're the one that you're married to is your best friend that, you know, you feel warm with them. You feel comfortable with them. They are your best friend. Um, and it, you know, it's just, you guys love each other. Then I had the home the house six of hearts and that is a uh, success in all of your ventures successful home life uh you know you're ha you're happy gonna be happy and prosperous um your home life is wonderful then i have the moon <laughs> the moon's good a good omen guys um the moon predicts uh good fortune so good fortune is coming good fortune is near I then have the uh, nine of hearts, the ship, and that's riches. Riches are near. It indicates a, maybe a wealth by inheritance. Um, if you are in a trade, um, a, a job that is a trade um, or craft or something like that, then that could be also where you're going to earn some money. Okay, so look into that, um, look into uh, that voyage, um, you know, that voyage of, you know, getting that inheritance. But good fortunes are coming. Good riches are coming your way. Um, you know, it could be by a trade. It could be by inheritance. Okay. So the next cards I'm going to read are your outside influences. These are the ones that are shaping um, the things that are coming Six of clubs is the lightning. Um, that denotes uh, a surprise. You have a surprise coming your way. And that surprise is like a lightning bolt. It's going to come quick. Okay. So there is a surprise that is going to be coming to you this month. I have the lilies. My favorite flower. The lilies are uh, happy life. You're going to have a happy life. Um... So everything looks good uh, that way. You're, you're happy, happy uh, life coming forward. Then I have the money safe indicates riches. Okay, the door here is opened towards you. You are in the center. It's opening towards you. So that means riches are coming your way, which is wonderful. Then I have the wrap ears. And that warns against... Um, it's some kind of an assault or a threat of some sort that will occur sooner or later. Um, so somebody out there, um, this person, whoever it is, is from a distance. They're not a close person. They're not, um, they're not somebody that you are real close with that could be in an, an acquaintance of some sort or somebody that lives in a distance but they're this person that just likes to start trouble they want to uh they threaten you in a way um i don't feel as if it is a threat to uh like you know beating you up or something like that i feel as if it is a threat to your dignity um, of some sort. They um, may put you down or cut you up um, in some sort of way. Um, but just be on the lookout for them. If you can, get rid of this person. Just kind of, you know, ignore them. Uh, then I have the clouds. Okay, and that is... Um, that is a person... Um, it indicates a happy happiness, domestic happiness. So domestic happiness is there for you. That's the seven of spades. I have the stork. The stork is um, a change of residence, seven of hearts. Um, and it's for the better. Okay, so maybe you will be moving. Somebody will be moving from your home. Somebody will be moving into your home. Um, you may be doing some renovations to your home. There is something to do with your residence. Um, whatever it is, it will be for the better. Then I have 
Then I have the rider. And that's good news is coming your way. And it's coming fast. The Jack of Diamonds is coming into you quick. He's on that horse. He is galloping right towards you. The bear. Uh, that's success. Um, successful. Um, you know, you have that warm, caring person. Um, that nurturing person um, that is going to nurture you and take care of you. The king of clubs. And then you have loyal friends. You have the dog. Four of diamonds. The dog. The dog is uh, true friends. Your friends that you have are true. And um, they're ones that you can trust. And they uh, feel as if you are a true friend too. And you are very close um, with these uh, close people that you are. That are in your life. So let's pull these cards. So there's your first reading, guys. All right, so that's your main main one. So let's ask the universe. Universe, what is it that my Leos need to know for January 2021? Two more. They want you to stay grounded, um, stay put, stay grounded, keep your feet flat on the ground, you know, um, you know, just like a tree, the roots are in the ground. They want you to stay where you're at, stay put, stay anchored, stay where you're at, um, and they want you to, uh, make, do creation, dream what you want. Okay, dream time. Dream about those things that you want in life. Dream about those things that uh, you want to bring into your life. Um, dream about the wealth and create it. You know, you are the one that can create your destiny. You're the only one that can create your destiny. Um, you have the angels, guides, spirits, universe, God, whatever it is. They are there to help you along the way, but you are the one that has to uh, choose your own destiny. You are the one that chooses your path. Okay, so I want to pull a card from Spirit for you. Spirit, what is it that my Leos need to know? What do you want to tell them for the uh, January of 2021? I guess I don't have to do any more shuffles. These, This one just flew right out at me. Dearest you, we have something exciting to share with you. You are a manifesting master and you don't even know it. There will always be enough of everything that you need in your life. Money, opportunities, love, kindness. So whatever you're asking guidance about, have faith and be open to the many ways in which you will experience prosperity. Spirit is the source of your supply. The universe is always reflecting back to, to you what you believe. So whatever you fall into insecurity, you will be shown an illusion as if your fear were real. But the truth is that the universe is abundant. You are and always have been enough and abundance is your is your natural state if you can imagine something consistently as truth you can and will create it you are so on the right path now keep believing then the seeing happens loving you more and more every day that's awesome guys so spirit wants you, you're a manifestation. Um, you can manifest those things. You need to look at those things and say, you know, this is what I want to reflect back to me. You know, what is it that you believe in? The universe is there. They're, they're, they're listening to you 
and they want to give you everything um the abundance is there you know the love the kindness um whatever it is you're asking for is there the faith you have to have faith okay so that is what i have for you from spirit let's uh pull a card that i feel resonates with you Expand your capacity for blessings. It's impossible to count the innumerable blessings you have in your life, but try anyway. What you appreciate, appreciates. This is the secret sauce for magnetizing even more for which to be grateful. So that's awesome, guys. Uh, you know, it's kind of like the uh, card from Spirit, right? Um, you need to count your blessings. Um, look at that. Um, you know, appreciate. And things will uh, appreciate. You know, that's... You got to magnet... You know, magnetize those things. Magnetize that secret sauce so that you can get even more. And be grateful for more things that come into your life. That's amazing. That is beautiful. Okay, one last card, guys. Let's just pull a card. I love and approve of myself. I appreciate all that I do. I am good enough just as I am. I speak up for myself. I ask for what I want. I claim my power. So guys, claim your power. You know, appreciate the things that you have. Appreciate the things that you do. You are good enough. You know, uh, you sp speak your mind. You speak for up for yourself. You stand up for yourself. Ask and you will receive. Ask for what you want and then claim that power. Okay. So that's beautiful, guys. Beautiful, beautiful. That was a beautiful reading for you, my Leos. Um, I hope you guys have a absolutely beautiful new year. And uh, 2020, I, 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 Pray that it will be the best and the most abundant for you. Um, I love you guys. I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful uh, January of 2021. Remember, it's uh, the time to create new. Okay. So I love you. And until next time. Bye, guys. Oh, remember, this is a general reading. <laughs> um, and it may not resonate with all of you. So be sure to check out your sun, your moon, and your rising readings also. Love you guys. Bye.